G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and today I'm just doing a short test on the Nikon Z5 to compare the 4K versus the 1080p. Rumour has it that the 1080p on this is rubbish, is lousy, is muddy and is fuzzy and so I'm just doing a bit of a test to see if it's going to help out. So I've got what's called a focus resolution pattern, it's a chart. This one's a bit smaller than they normally are. Here's a glimpse of what this center looks like up close, so what you can expect to see. And here's what I'm going to do, I'm using an S lens, I'm using the 24 to 70 f4 S lens, which is a native to the Z series. I've got it on a 70mm single point focus and it's with it's exceeding the minimum distance. So if you look through the camera right now it's very very focused in. And if I just go a couple of dots in for you and that is super super sharp. I am going to shoot on 1080p at 24 frames and then at 60 frames and then I'm going to shift over to 4k and I'm going to shoot at 24 frames and then with that data we're just going to put it on the screen and I'm going to zoom in on it. So the data is going to be stationary from here and we're going to zoom in and see if there's much difference between those several options so you can see if it's worth your money buying it um, and to help us out I've illuminated with this uh, softbox so that the light won't be changed on here. The other thing you do need to recognize is 4k on this is cropped and so what that means is when you use 4k on a 70 it will appear cl closer to our pattern than the other. Uh, for the test it won't make any difference but it'll mean that it starts off in slightly different position so it may may discombobulate you but that's not my desire the desire is to see how detailed we can get it by zooming in how um, how much detail does this camera pick up and then another test that might be helpful is I'll gently pan the camera from left to right and right to left on those video settings so you can see with a bit of movement whether uh, it's terrible quality or not. We're going to show 20 second clips and we're going to get into it um, and see how good it is. we just looked at will be available in its pre YouTube compression format in a link in the description below and so you can have a look for yourself and um, critique to your heart's content if you're wondering what the other settings were I, I changed the shutter speed to match the 180 rule which is basically twice as much as the frames per second the ISO sat at 100 because of the light box that was on it I shot an f-stop of 4 it was on high video quality my auto white balance was on and the internal IBIS was on as this lens doesn't have vibration reduction because of the stops of stabilization with in the camera so here's what I think about my test so I exported that footage at 4k and looked through it meticulously 
and to be honest I can't see any problems with it whatsoever of course the 1080p is a little bit more pixelated when you zoom right in than the 4k is which is to be expected all the frame rates seem to line up and it all seems to be schmicko so if you've been asking the question what's the video quality like on the Nikon Z5 the answer is doesn't matter if you shoot 1080p or 4k you will enjoy the result Thanks so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe, thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Been 72 weeks in this town. I still believe I'll see you again.